Hello friends. Welcome to my new Bootstrap 3 tutorial series video. Friends. In our previous tutorial, we saw overview and working of Bootstrap Basic Grid. In this tutorial, we will learn concept of breakpoints in Bootstrap Grid. Bootstrap Grid has four predefined grid classes which we discussed in previous tutorials. These classes work differently in different devices. On Bootstrap site, under CSS tab there is a section called as, Grid Options. This section describes how Bootstrap Grid system work across multiple devices. The table has four sections. Section 1 describes about, how Bootstrap Grid works on extra small devices such as phones. Section 2 describes about, how Bootstrap Grid works on small devices such as tablets. Section 3 describes about, how Bootstrap Grid works on medium devices such as desktops. Section 4 describes about, how Bootstrap Grid works on large devices such as large desktops. It also tells about its breakpoints and grid classes used. For extra small devices, classes with a prefix used is, call-xs, and it doesn't have any breakpoint. For small devices, classes with a prefix used is, call-sm, having a breakpoint at 768 pixels. For medium devices, classes with a prefix used is, call-md, having a breakpoint at 992 pixels. For large devices, classes with a prefix used is, call-lg, having a breakpoint at 1200 pixels. One important property is the grid behavior. In this tutorial we will focus more on grid behavior property. It says, for extra small devices grid will remain horizontal at all times. For all other devices, it will remain horizontal above its breakpoints, and gets collapsed to start, just below breakpoint. We will see it's working through an example, and see how breakpoints reach, when device width gets changed. Let's code with all those four grid classes, and see how it gets collapsed to start, when breakpoints are reached. In grid system folder. Let's create a new HTML file. And save it by name, breakpoint.html. Now let's copy and paste contents of basic grid.html file, created in previous tutorial, into breakpoint.html file. I will just remove, contents of basic grid.html file. Now let's start fresh coding for bootstrap grid breakpoints. Let's follow simple bootstrap grid rules to create a grid. Create a div element having a class of container. Under container div, create another div element having a class of row. Under row div, let's create a large column, which spans 6 of 12 columns. The class used here is, call-lg-6. Under large column div, provide a paragraph with text. This is first large column. It is for large desktop. In this example, we will use two columns of 6 6 width. In order to distinguish them, let's create two custom classes in style.css file. In style.css, I will just copy and paste column CSS class twice and rename those classes to column 1 and column 2. Moving ahead, I will remove unwanted CSS properties from both the classes. In both classes I will just provide a different background color so that both columns are visible. Let's apply these CSS classes to our columns. To first column, I will provide class of column 1. 
I will copy and paste div element, to create another 6 column large block. Provide, column 2 CSS class to it. Change paragraph text from first large column to second large column. Copy file path and open the file in browser. You can see it has created a row having two columns of equal width. The background color will help us in understanding how Bootstrap Grid behaves on different devices. Moving ahead. Let's provide line breaks to rows, so that it can be clearly visible. In order to understand breakpoints of Bootstrap Grid, let's copy and paste entire large row thrice, one for each device classes. First row holds classes for large desktops. Make second row hold classes for medium devices. That is, we will use call-md-classes for medium devices. Also, change paragraph text to corresponding medium device. Moving ahead. Make third row hold classes for small devices. That is, we will use call-sm-classes for small devices. Also, change paragraph text to corresponding small device. Moving ahead. Similarly. Make fourth row hold classes for extra small devices. That is, we will use call-xs-classes for extra small devices. Also, change paragraph text to corresponding extra small device. Copy file path and open the file in browser. You can see it has displayed four rows for each device such as extra small, small, medium and large devices. In order to see how breakpoints of bootstrap grid works, press F12 key in Google Chrome. It opens developer tool window. This window has a phone icon at top left. Just click it. It opens a browser window in a device mode. This device mode window has a scale around it. At top left of the device mode window, there is a screen resolution box. This box shows width and height of space browser window has occupied. The unit of measure is in pixels. Currently, as you can see browser window has occupied a width more than 1200 pixels. You can also see, when I move window slider to right or left, the width box resolution changes. Thus, you can keep an eye on this box, when breakpoints hits for multiple devices. If we again look into grid behavior property, we can see. The grid behavior says that, it will remain horizontal above breakpoint, and will get collapsed to start once breakpoint is reached. Here, currently window size is above 1200 pixels, hence on browser you can see call-lg class remains horizontal. As soon as we reach just below 1200 pixels, which is the breakpoint for call-lg class, you can see first grid collapse to start but all other grid remained horizontal because they are well above their breakpoints. Let's shrink device width, to less than 992 pixels, which is the breakpoint for call-md class. You can see second grid also collapsed to start. But all other grid remained horizontal because they are well above their breakpoints. Let's shrink device width, 
to less than 768 pixels, which is the breakpoint for call sm class. You can see third grid also collapsed to start. Also, call xs class will remain horizontal no matter what device width is. Thus, this grid behavior makes Bootstrap responsive on multiple devices. So friends, in this tutorial, we learned concept of breakpoints in Bootstrap grid and coded its working. In upcoming tutorials, we will code more Bootstrap 3 features and components. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, breakpoints in Bootstrap grid, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give 1 minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.